Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a review and demo on the Kylie Jenner Cosmetics Vacation Collection. I have tested out the products. I haven't done swatches yet, but I will do them and insert them as well. But stay tuned if you want to see my honest review on the collection. Okay, so I placed my order on the 16th of June, which is when the collection was released. I did get a confirmation of shipment six days later. It took nearly a week to ship it. After the shipment notification, it did take eight days to arrive. Now I did purchase the whole bundle. Funny story. <laughs> I wanted to get the wet set, the eyeshadow and one of the ultra glows and it came up to like $130 and the bundle was $250. So I'm like, I'll just get the bundle and get everything. And then I got it in the mail and I'm like, oh, they're missing the wet set. That's really weird. I know that they sold out of them so quick. Maybe they just forgot to put it in. So I emailed them and I had a chat on my Snapchat and I just said, oh, they're missing it. That's so weird. I'll, I'll email them. And then a few people replied, they said it actually wasn't included. And then I went and checked and nope, it wasn't included. So I have to say like, that's out of the whole thing, that was the most disappointing thing. And they did reply to my email. They said, hello Crystal, thanks for reaching out. Our new Take Me On Vacation bundle includes the following items and then it lists it. Please keep in mind the wet set is not included in the bundle and it is sold separately. We apologize for any confusion this may have caused. I feel like I wasn't alone in thinking that the bundle came with the wet set. I am disappointed that it wasn't included. It was kind of misleading, to be honest. When things launch on the website, things don't sell out as quick as they used to. But in the past, you used to get on, quickly add it to your cart, and then wait in 10 minutes for the checkout. You don't even get a chance to look at what you get because you just like in and out quickly. Moving on, it did come with the Take Me On Vacation eyeshadow palette, which looks like this. Now this, I saw this whole collection on Kylie's Snapchat and I was like, I've got to have it. It's so beautiful. And this eyeshadow palette was definitely one of the things that caught my eye and I wanted to get. And I have done this demo on it today. It's probably not what you expected. I have seen quite a few people use the blue. I did want to use it, but I might save it for another tutorial. We have the Send Me Nudes liquid lipsticks. Now we have the matte and also the velvets. I personally prefer the velvets, so they're the ones that I've used today. So that just comes with four liquid lipsticks. You also get the June Bug Matte Liquid Lipstick, which is this vibrant purple. Although I'm not a fan of the matte formula, definitely wanted to give it a go. It's not a usual color that I have in my collection, so I really do like it. You do get the Skinny Dip Face Duo, so it comes with a bronzer and a highlight. You also get two of the Super Glitter Glosses. I did the demo using Glitz today. Finally, you get three of the Ultra Glow Loose Powder Highlights. Now I've used Fiji today in my demo. So what I'm going to do now is play the demo for you and then we'll get into some swatches and then the review. Starting out with the Take Me On Vacation eyeshadow palette. Now I haven't even swatched this yet so I'm just going straight on the eyes. It's cool that it comes with a little brush. From what I can tell, these don't feel like synthetic bristles, so that's something to keep in mind. I prime my eyes with my soft ochre okay, paint pot first. So I'm taking the color Sea Breeze, which is as close to my skin color, and just packing that over the paint pot. Set, but this looks like it could be a really nice transitional color too. Next up, I'm taking the color Spray Tan. Now this is a really nice warm tone chocolatey brown. I'm gonna take that in the crease, concentrating a little bit more on this outer corner. And I'm using the fluffy end of the brush. So I like that you can get a light wash of this color, but then you can definitely build it up. And that's not even really trying to build it up. Like it's, it's a buildable color, which, is great. So that means like the pigmentation is is pretty okay. I do definitely want them to be blendable as well. Next up I'm going in with Palm Tree, which is a beautiful warm chocolate brown. I'm gonna go right over that there in the crease. I take some more of that spray tan up a little bit further to make this look pretty dramatic. Probably because this brush is quite fluffy, it's just taking it that extra bit further than what I usually would. I'm gonna take spray tan on the lower lash line. A little bit more palm tree. 
I've just been dying to use this surfboard color, which is a beautiful like olive green. I'm taking it on this brush. Oh my God, there's so much fallout. <laughs> oh my God, there's so much fallout. Bad idea. So that was a bad idea. I'm gonna take some fixed glass. Okay, let's try that again. Wow, that color is beautiful. Like, stunning. Definitely have to wet your brush though. I'm so impressed right now. I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Oh my God, I did not expect it to be that good, honestly. Are you guys aware? Can you see this? It it actually looks like one of the magnificent foils from Makeup Geek. Like it looks that foiled and beautiful. I'm in shock. Like I cannot believe it. Definitely have to wet your brush though. I don't know how this brush will go. It's like one of those thin flat shader brushes. I'm gonna take the color Summer 17. I'm gonna pop that right in the middle. I don't know if this will work. I don't think it's gonna work. Maybe if I wet my brush or something. I mean, wet my finger. Apply with my finger. Yeah, that didn't work. I'm taking some of the color Luxury and I'm gonna pop that on the outer V. I don't feel like this one is as pigmented or applying as easy as some of the other shades. So I'm like actually really packing it on. Maybe it's just not that dark and it's kind of got fallout everywhere. Just gonna blend that. Gonna take some on the lower lash line. Might have been the brush that I was using. It worked okay then. I cannot believe that that green color definitely fall out though. So I'm just going to do some winged liner and some lashes. I'll be back in a sec. Okay. So my lashes are still drying, uh, but so excuse the glue, but I'm going to go in with the skinny dip face duo. Just going in with my usual contouring brush and I'm going to take the bronzer. It's kind of matte, but it's got like a little bit of shimmer in it. And it is cool toned, but I don't know how it looks. This looks like a little bit purpley or something. I can't say that it shows up a great deal. I'd like to know what skin tones and colors they tested this on because I don't think it's that versatile. Just going to take some blush. Now I'm going to take the glow up highlight just on this XO Beauty fan brush. It's really pretty. I feel like it's probably buildable. It's definitely not giving that bam glow straight away. And this probably wouldn't suit fair skin, which is strange because this is meant for more fair skin than I have at the moment. <laughs> I think I'm wearing Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation in maybe 53. I have the three Ultra Glow Loose Powder Highlights. Okay, I'm gonna take this over the top. <laughs> The only thing is that didn't spread very evenly because it was on the brush. Okay, that's just like over the top. That is just OTT. And I barely used any. <laughs> that's something special. That is definitely something special. I'm going to take some. Oh, 
I have June Bug, which I think I'll definitely wear. I also have the matte and velvet Send Me Nudes kit. I personally am not really a fan of the um, the matte liquid lipsticks. They're just too drying and my lips look so cracked and it's just not a flattering look on me. But I have tried one of the velvets in Charm and I freaking love it. It's so amazing. So I definitely want to try out the velvets. Trying out Naked first. So here is Naked. It is very, very nude. It has dried up a bit darker or a bit deeper than what I thought it would. I don't know if this color would suit everyone considering how tanned I am today. I like how it goes with this look that I have on today, but I'm not sure it would go with every single look I usually wear. So next I'm trying Birthday Suit. So this one is a warm tone brown. It's very like caramel like I would say. Again, it's probably not a color that I would usually wear and not sure if it would go with my usual daily look. Kind of like matches that crease color that I've got. What was that called? Spray tan or something? It's a very tan color. So I feel like after they've dried, they look a little bit different and this is definitely toned down after it has dried. Well, those colors were actually the ones that I would have chosen if I had to choose two of the bunch or the ones that I liked. These two colors, I'm honestly not too sure if I'll like them. So we have Commando and Bear. Commando looks quite red toned in the tube. May look different on. Okay, I really want to see this once it's dry. It does look very red toned. I wouldn't even say it looks like a summer color, more like an autumn color and probably similar to one of the colors that she already has. If I were to think about it, I could probably find a color that it's similar to. Definitely a lot more toned down once it does dry a little and a lot more wearable, I feel. But I don't think that this would suit me if I wasn't as tanned as I am. Hmm. It's growing on me. <laughs> so the last one we have is Bear. Oh, I like this. Oh, I wasn't expecting it. It's like got a pink undertone. Okay, so this somehow ended up being my favorite color. Wouldn't have thought that. It's the pink undertone. That's what it is. Let me see what it's like when it's dry though. All right, I have to eat my words. This is my favorite color. <laughs> I did not see that happening. I think just because in the tube, like it doesn't look the same. And I guess that's why you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> Definitely my fave. Love this. This is like an everyday color for me. Although once again, I'm not too sure how these would look on fair skin or even like, you know, me with my tan not being fresh. I feel like they would be too dark for me. I have the two super glitter glosses. Can we just take a second to appreciate the packaging? Like... The fact that it's like a matte tube, but then there's glitter inside, that looks amazing. Like, yes, it would have looked great without the matte, so you could see the glitter, but I just feel like this looks so good and I love the nude. Okay, so I haven't tried one of these. I don't think I've tried any glosses before, even though I have some. Oh, I see. I can't say that that's what I was expecting, but... That's really nice. <laughs> I know I don't look happy about it, but maybe it's just the gloss. Maybe I've got no glitter. I'm just like putting a lot of gloss on my face. I can't even see the glitter in it, to be honest. It just looks like a gloss. It just looks like a metallic gloss. I'm unsure what to think about this because I like it. But is this what it's meant to be like? If so, I'm a fan. And as I said, I've got some of the other glosses, but I haven't tried them. So I, d I don't know what the formula's like, but this feels nice. It actually, I've got a lot on my lips at the moment, so it's uncomfortable, but it, it, it feels really nice. And I guess like that metallicness adds to the reflection of the gloss. So this is glitz on top of bare. It's funny now that you can, you can see the glitter underneath when you take it off. Okay, so lastly, we have Junebug. This color is just adorable. Okay, here we go. That's amazing.
Okay, I've got to say, I love this color. I knew I would love it. It's not something that you can wear every day, but I feel like for a party, like what this selection is intended for, it is perfect. It is so vibrant. Yeah, it's drying. It's a matte liquid lipstick. They are drying. I feel like this is, I love it. Straight up into the swatches of the Lucian highlights, we have Santorini on the left in the middle, Fiji, and on the end, Tahiti. This is indoor lighting swatches, and this is direct sunlight. And look how insane they are. As you can see, the colors look quite similar. We have a silver tone, and then a gold champagne, and then a pink on the end. This last clip is of them outside, but in the shade. Next up we have the Skinny Dip Face Duo with a bronzer and a highlight. These did not swatch very well at all, unfortunately. I went back in with a second swatch of the highlight and just no good. Now we have the Take Me On Vacation eyeshadow palette. This is what it looks like. And what I'm gonna do is a few different types of swatches. These are finger swatches of the first row and a nice close up and then finger swatches of the second row. As you can see, they're pretty good. They swatch up really well, I feel. Then these ones are with a wet finger. I've swatched the metallics and they show up beautifully when you wet them, which is what I said in the demo. They look just stunning. Then we have a finger swatch and then a brush swatch of each color. Each color is very different. Sometimes the finger swatch is better. Sometimes the brush swatch is better. But overall, I feel all of the colors did swatch pretty well. And you know, like I can't really find anything to complain about because they seem to work quite well on the eyes. Of course, you need to wet the metallics, but the mattes worked beautifully. And yeah, I just don't have much to complain about. I thought it was a pretty decent eyeshadow palette. Not the best quality, but pretty good. Then we have the Semi Nudes Liquid Lipsticks and these are just the same order that I swatched them on my lips in. When they dry, they look a little bit differently. People said that they are similar to the KKWs. I don't think so at all. I've swatched them side by side. Very, very different in my opinion and the formula is so different. I much prefer the Velvet formula. And then over on the far right, we have Junebug. Okay, so there's the demo and the swatches. Now I'm gonna do a quick review of each product. First up, the palette, the eyeshadow palette. Really pleasantly surprised with this one and I cannot wait to use it more. Would definitely recommend with the shimmer eyeshadows to only use them with a wet brush. I probably wouldn't use them dry, it's just not worth it. I do really like the color range. I would like that it looks a little bit different to some other palettes that are out on the market these days. It's got a few different colors like the purples, the turquoise and this olive green that I've used today. Oh, so beautiful. I can't wait to use some of the bronzy colors. This palette is intended to take on vacation and I feel like it's definitely something that you could and you could create multiple different looks with. The palette was definitely a hit for me. The next thing that I used was the Skinny Dip Face Duo. I was happy with the highlight. However, bronzer, like I mean, it just, it's barely there to be honest. The thing that I find really confusing about this is that the bronzer is probably meant for someone with more fair skin, yet the highlighter wouldn't suit someone with fair skin. So I just find this, this really confusing and I don't feel like it's something that I would use quite often. So this one unfortunately was definitely a miss for me. So next we have the loose powder highlight and I use the color Fiji. Definitely straight off the bat, this is a hit for me. I love it. However, I'm gonna be really fussy and pick on the packaging. I didn't mind so much, but when I peeled off the plastic, only half of it came off and I don't find this packaging very appealing. I feel like it's messy, it's gonna go everywhere, it's gonna end up everywhere and it's just not something that is easily maintainable like it looks nice and neat like that however I know from use of products like these they just go everywhere and it's just a hot mess so I wish the packaging were better but the product is a hit a hit and a half it's beautiful it went on beautifully as a highlight and then in a corner and I feel like this is something you could mix in with your foundation that you could use all over your body you can mix it in with your lips you can use it on your eyes just a beautiful product and I can definitely see myself getting a lot of use out of it next up we have the semi nudes velvet liquid lipsticks you get four shades and they're all nude love the packaging I love 
these little sets like I don't know if you guys saw my, my KKW review on this set like my, one of my favorite things was actually the packaging to be honest I think that that is just so cute so marketable the colors I was a little unsure about a little hesitant and to be honest I probably only wear maybe two out of the four and surprisingly the colors weren't what they what I kind of pictured them to be, but they do definitely change color once they're dry. So keep that in mind. If you apply one, just wait for it to dry and then see how that looks. I'm not sure how they would go on fair skin. I feel like that they would be quite dark on fair skin. So that's something to keep in mind. But then again, it, it would probably look really lovely on dark skin. So it's kind of hard to find that happy medium to suit all skin tones. These ones, I'm gonna say they're a half hit. The velvet formula is definitely right up my alley. I much prefer it than the mattes. What I find funny is about the bundle is it included both sets, velvets and mattes. No one would really need both sets, but it didn't include the wet set. Why would you include both sets and not the wet set? I, for me, it should have been like, you can have the bundle with the mattes or you can have the bundle with the velvets. So these ones overall, look, they are a hit for me just because I prefer the formula. Super easy to apply. They smell great and they do last quite well, but they still can leave your lips a little bit dry, but not as dry as the mattes. The Super Glitter Gloss, this took me by surprise. This is a totally unnecessary product. I'm gonna just put that out there, but I liked it. I actually really liked it. I feel like for a special occasion or, you know, that hot summer night, I, I can see this working its way into someone's routine, someone's night out, get ready with me. I can definitely see that. Don't know if glitter would be the right term. It's more of a metallic, but then as I took it off, I could see the glitter. So this is the color glitz and that's the one that I used in the demo. I like the consistency of the gloss. So this one is a hit for me, but it's an unnecessary product if that makes sense. No, it doesn't make sense, Crystal. June Bug. Okay, this, this formula, you know what? This one feels a little bit better. Like I've only been wearing it, I don't know, 20 minutes or something, but this formula feels a bit better than some of the other mattes that I've tried. And I feel like the formulas with the different matte liquid lipsticks is all over the place. It's not consistent. Each one is different. Each one wears differently. Each one has a different drying factor that it wears on your lips. But I feel like this is one of the good guys. I know that seems so, so silly, but I do like it. I love the color. It's definitely not something you can wear every day, well, you probably could if you were the right person, but it's not something that I would wear every day. So that is a hit for me. Probably like the glitter gloss. It's unnecessary, but I love it. <laughs> okay, so that wraps up my review on the Kali Cosmetics Vacation Bundle. Have you got any of these products? Do you like them? Do you love them? I don't have a whole lot of Kylie stuff, but I feel like progressively the brand is getting better quality. What do you guys think about that? Obviously, there are some teething problems when you start a brand. I I get that everyone gets that it's really really hard especially when you have such a big name and your product is going out to millions of people I don't know if she's testing it more or come up with better formulas but I feel like it's it's doing really great I really enjoyed most of the products today of course like you know oh, this whole collection is of course like a little bit gimmicky but it's just like you, know, you buy new clothes for it for the season now you buy new makeup for a season that's just how it goes but I'd love to know your thoughts what did you love the most out of the collection that is it from me thank you so much for watching hope you guys are doing really really well and I'll see you really soon bye okay it's not like I didn't expect it but this stains your lips so bad it looks like I have lipstick on. I have nothing on my lips. <laughs> and I only had it on for maybe half an hour. <laughs>